Hi. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Mindscape 717, episode 19. This is our podcast. I'm Leslie. This is Tanya. Hi. And we are, what are we talking about today? <laughs> so I think today, for the sake of, we're literally looking at the ocean right now. Yes. We are in Wilmington at Wrightsville, Wrightsville Beach um, in our resort in we're literally behind this camera. We see the water. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, I think it's one of those things where maybe we can just have this conversation, not only about travel and kind of share a little bit of what we've done this weekend. Cause I don't know who told us, but we were busy yesterday. Very, very busy. We left like at eight in the morning, did not. And we, <laughs> we thought we were grown and we came back close to 7 PM. So mm. there is that, but we had a lot of fun. We did. I think we want to talk a little, I mean, I would, I, I don't know if you agree with this. This is literally us planning because we didn't do anything this before, but like maybe talking about the trip, but also like self-care. What does that look like for us being here? Because we talk about self-care a lot, right? Leslie loves to say self-care is not selfish. And I think this is, this is a very important thing being that it is about mental health and culture. Um, there's a couple of things that we picked up while we were here, which is really nice. Um, the culture part, right? And the mental health is very much for our mental health and sharing that, right? Because I think it's super yeah. important for us to like practice what we preach. And I think we talk about it, but us coming here, like this was on a whim as far as like where we're staying and coming here. That's right. Did we book in a month in advance? Yes. But only because it was it was busy this weekend. Yeah. We had, there was like a yeah. one or two weddings this weekend here. So I think... That was the best thing that we did was to book it. But coming here was a, like a last minute thing. We're like, let's go. TikTok definitely was the thing that got us here. Exactly. So it was really nice. TikTok kept showing us all sorts of wonderful things like coffee places and candy places and places to eat. Um, and literally one day we just looked at each other and said we want to go there. And we picked a hotel within seconds. Yeah. Booked it. And that yep. was that. And that is the fastest we have ever done anything. <laughs> Let me tell you, we are not spontaneous people. We're either. not impulsive people. We, by we have to like like research yeah. everything, you know. And, and we, we have to plan. Nothing. And we did it. But it was this is probably one of like top tier last minute road trips that we booked so quickly. And we came with no plan. We're like, let's look at TikTok to give us some information. We have a couple yeah. places that we wanted to go for sure. Um, but it, it was a really fun time. Like we took our time getting here. We got here. We relaxed. Uh, we went to the coffee shop Saturday yes. morning. And they were like, oh, hi, how are you doing? Like, first time here. We were sharing with them that we were from Northern Virginia. And they were like, oh, you came all the way down here? Like, yeah, we just kind of wanted to come try it out here and yep. see what's out here exactly. for us to experience. They were so amazed. They were. It was, fa it was fabulous. Yeah. So TikTok, you did us really, <laughs> really well. Yes. You know, you did not do us dirty. Yeah. You gave us some recommendations, and the recommendations were freaking amazing. Uh -huh. This hidden gems coffee, hidden grounds, hidden grounds. I, I, I think it's a hidden gem, so I keep calling it hidden gem. Hidden grounds yeah. coffee place, fucking amazing. It's and so then nice. you go in the back, and it's like this beautiful. Yeah area and there's yeah. hidden dinosaurs everywhere we posted a couple of yeah. those pictures they're oh, literally God. this little and they're in the trees you found the one yeah, in the tree. I know. i'm like look at that one look at that one and <laughs> we took pictures and we posted them because it was really it's like a dinosaur themed i got a shirt from there um it's great it's, it's in great. the coffee top tier i just i <laughs> we had such a great weekend the food was great the the people were very kind very yes. nice it was very nice and no traffic which was wonderful everyone we talked to was just super helpful super nice mm -hmm. it was nice oh yeah i think we got everywhere we went to eat everywhere we went yeah. the people were just really nice um but yeah so the self-care mental health like i just we talk about this a lot but we really do love traveling yes and even though this one was a lot less planned we were out all day yesterday yeah. and we did all of the things that we could possibly have done got yeah. coffee then we drove around went to cut to um candy stores and then yeah. we went to have brunch at <gasps> blueberries girl yes that I had chicken and waffles. I literally licked that plate clean. She did. I 
I was <laughs> amazed. It was a whole ass waffle. And two big pieces. Oh. And it was a fluffy waffle. I think it was like that. It was that oh big. Oh my god, that it was thick. so good. It was but yeah, I mean, it looked good. It smelled it, divine. I couldn't eat it, but yeah, no. I had a skillet and it was amazing. A chorizo like mm, egg omelet mm. and type of thing and it was amazing. Yeah. Oh no. Amazing. It, everything we had and then obviously we've talked about ceviche um ceviches that we had Friday night when we yes. first got here. Um, I would highly recommend oh anybody God. go to Ceviche. Mm -hmm. It's a Panamanian, it, like inspired, um, yeah, inspired restaurant. And let me tell you, it was, it was. You have to try the ceviches. Like there's like yeah. sampler platter that we yeah. got. It was like four different ones. The cuatro. Uh huh. Yeah, the it cuatro. was oh. really really good. So if you go there, yeah, it definitely it was amazing. And the service the was food awesome. was amazing. Mm -hmm. Everything it was great no it was the best way to start our weekend <clears throat> and Hearing. that's what we went we did that first that was friday night that was friday right? night mm -hmm. <clears throat> saturday mm -hmm. we were all over the place um all over wilmington all over yep. the different districts all over um the area of wrightsville beach as well and just had mm -hmm. a blast we came back tired but we had a blast yeah. and oh yeah um we did go to a cat come what is it called oh cat? the black cat shop yeah and we posted the reveal we did yes with that little unicorn go madness. on youtube i'm um, sorry tiktok and uh -huh. like and look at some uh -huh. of our posts of the reveal we did a unicorn madness yeah it was it a was reveal hilarious. with all the unicorn stuff it's just yeah. it was a really cute shop they have like another shop it's somewhere snarky. else. It's yes. very snarky. And well, uh, you know, yeah. if you like, you know, that kind of thing, the snark. And there were several stores like that. And I thought, yeah, yes. this uh -huh. is a great place. Yeah. <laughs> no, amazing. There was one that we were trying to get into, but it was closed. It's closed. We couldn't yeah. get in. It's too bad. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's it was fine. And I think, right, just making sure we always tie it. It's one of those things where it's just so, super important that if this is one of those things that you really enjoy doing is traveling, yes. Is there a lot of privilege and being able to buy, like to get a yes. hotel and all this stuff, great. But at the same time, okay, it doesn't have to be this, it doesn't have to be a weekend. It doesn't have to be multiple night. Like you can make anything be fun. And I'm always down for like a day trip too. Like if we yeah. can like, if you could drive somewhere, take your lunch with you, take snacks, because we love some yeah, road trip snacks, oh man. <laughs> but like, these are the yeah. things that sometimes we forget to really enjoy. And again, there's always somewhere in between of not having the resources and still taking self care and then having the resources and being able to take a weekend. Um, these are things that I, you know, we talk about so much, but I really wanted to like bring that in at least for this one because of where we are and because of what was important to us coming here. Mm -hmm. We talked about it so much and we were just so excited. And I mean, the next one is the cruise and we are just even mm -hmm. more over the moon about it. Yeah. But like looking at the water, literally just looking at the, the balcony yeah. and just seeing stuff like that. We were talking last night how peaceful it is and how our day to days just become so stressful and taking a step back is really hard. But when we can have these moments of intentional stepping back, mm -hmm. I think it makes a world of difference. Um, and again, I I understand the lack of resources sometimes, but there is nothing wrong with just taking a day trip and taking food. Take We used to, growing up, we got sandwiches and snacks. We hit the road for a day at Virginia Beach or Ocean City. And it's one of those things where like just being close to the water, if that is important to you, because I know it mm -hmm. is for Leslie. Yes. I like the water from afar. Like this for me is perfect. Leslie wants to be in it and live <laughs> in the mermaid life. Like that's what she wants. But right, I think it's wonderful to find these things that you like you love for yourself to take care of yourself because we I I just wanted to hone this back in because of what we talk about all the time. And because we're here. Yeah. Like we literally just came. And we're leaving after this when we'll get something to eat and we're going to hit the road back home again. Yeah. Well, let me tell you a little bit about what we found while we're oh. here. Mm -hmm. The first thing that is very, very noticeable about Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach is it is in a, a very active town. Very active. Much more than I've ever seen before. Yep. I've so, been. I mean, people are out walking. Freaking Sometimes alien. solo, sometimes running, sometimes in groups. Mm -hmm. They're out and they are out and about. They're biking. Yep. There's a lot of bikers here. Um, let's see here. Um, this is an extremely dog friendly 
place. Dogs are everywhere. They come into the restaurants, they go into yep. the shops. Some are in the shops as like greeters, they call mm -hmm. them. You know, very dog friendly. Um, there's parks around here for dogs. There's all sorts of like- Little water really, bowls everywhere. Uh, like water bowls for dogs everywhere, mm -hmm. like, uh, like in statues. I yeah. mean, it's like, <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah. And then, um, so we noticed that um, mm -hmm. first thing, because we were just astounded. There's so, and even right now, I'm looking at the beach, yep. like behind the, the camera, mm -hmm. and there's all these people just walking the beach. It's just really nice. Yes. Just, just really nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, and some with their dogs. So. <laughs> there's so many dogs here. Although we had a lot in Northern Virginia, but I don't think it, it compares. I know. They even have their shirts have dogs on them, like which says Wrightsville Beach, and they have dogs. Like, so you know it's like it's such a dog popular. friendly place. Mm -hmm. So There was all those pictures at that restaurant yeah. last night too, with oh, the dogs at the beach. Dogs everywhere. So. It was so fucking cute. Yeah, it was really cute. It was almost like the owners. It was almost like the owner's dogs yeah. that they like put on pictures and like put up. It was Aww. really sweet. Yeah. Uh, we went to Tower 7 and that's where all the pictures were. And so it was really cute. Yeah. So we noticed that mm -hmm. the culture here is just very, very active. Yeah. We also noticed that it, everything is hidden. Mm -hmm. Like this, you know, when I, you know, kind of messed up earlier and called hidden grounds a hidden gem, this whole place is a hidden gem. It is. This is like... It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah. So everything yeah. is like kind of concrete jungle where we are, right? In Northern Virginia. Oh, absolutely. But um, here, it's like you go into um, what you think might have a couple shops or something. And it's a whole village. It's like... <laughs> you go upstairs, you're like, oh, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's yeah. a hidden gem. It really is a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we, we absolutely loved it. That's how the, the cause we went to the cotton exchange to one of the yeah. candy stores and stuff. <laughs> we were like, oh, it was like three stores. And then she yeah. had to go use the restroom. So she goes upstairs and she comes out. She's like, there's a whole thing upstairs. We I know. were so lost. <laughs> we were like, what? It's like a maze. What is happening? But it was a maze of different stores. It was like, oh, this Literally. is really cool. It was a coffee shop, a whole bunch of boutiques. In a place to go get like waxing and eyelashes. Another place for dogs. You know, you walk out there. Mm -hmm. and yep. It was really, really nice. It was just oh, great. No. And then we went to another, we went to um, get our nails done. We had some issues with our, our nails. And so um, we were getting that taken mm -hmm. care of. But the whole, really, we thought there might be a couple stores in this place. And it ends up being like this whole... <laughs> Hidden yeah. shopping center yeah. type of thing. <laughs> we just kept rolling around and it just what? more and more. Uh. <laughs> and then when I went to go get to the coffee at Drift Coffee, yeah. I found the town center. They have a whole fucking town center <laughs> down the street around the corner, literally. And I couldn't find the Drift Coffee. I was like, this is ridiculous. There was all of the stores Cava, Chipotle, oh uh, Cold Stow, like all of the things. There was a Belk. I was like, oh. Lane Bryant. It was like a whole, for, it was a whole mall. I was like, what is this? I mean, we went to Drift Coffee and we got matcha lattes, which were really good. But that was because of our nail. Our yeah. nail tech was like, go here. And it was a good recommendation. It was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, talking about that, the nail tech is, it was originally from Massachusetts, um, outside of Boston. Yeah. And um, she was saying, I came here and she said, I had no idea what bless my heart meant. And she goes, ah, so I thought that was funny. Yeah. I thought it was really cute. Uh -huh. Cause I think most of us know what bless my heart yeah, like bless, bless your, your heart, heart means mm -hmm. or, you know, that kind of thing. And oh, and she also mentioned y'all. Y'all, she's like, who says y'all? Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, we kind of all oh, say y'all. Yeah. <laughs> kind of <laughs> all do. <laughs> right. We say y'all a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I even just be writing it out. I'm like, oh, well, shit, okay. <laughs> no, but it was, it, it was just nice to, yeah. there's a lot of different people here and talking to different people and like, like oh where are you from northern virginia like oh my god you only came for the week like it was yeah. really good conversations and again people i was amazed at how many people like everywhere we went it was great service we had a really good bartender yeah. at blueberries grill yeah, she, was um, great. she hooked us up and she moved us down the bar because we were like behind everything and she's she was like, like no, no no no, no. Yeah. you're gonna get a better spot she's like they're leaving city air i was like oh okay. yeah. 
yeah no it was really nice to just kind of step away a little bit because mm -hmm. these are the resets that we need and now we just got to gear up and get ready for the next month right. until we get to go to to the we Greece. originally didn't think it was a very diverse place mm -hmm. um and so in, you know we saw a lot of blondes and beards um you know but but we thought okay where's the where's the diversity but we did end up seeing more diversity yeah. later on and then we found out that there's all these festivals going on that mm -hmm. we you know we didn't find um but there's like a latin festival going mm -hmm. on and and greek greek festival all sorts of different diverse yeah. like festivals that are happening right now um, and apparently there was this beautiful kite festival, one of which was at night, and oh, it was Carolina like a light Beach. up, yeah, yeah, it was a light up kite thing, and um, at night to, and she, she, we were told that it was like 4th of July, like there were so many people out there, yeah. you know, watching the kites. displays, you know, with the lighted, lighted up kites, mm -hmm. so. Um, we kind of wish we had seen that. I that know, been really cool, it would have been nice. But we didn't see it. But now we yeah. do know that it is a, a more diverse place than we originally thought. And not that that's such a huge deal, but it kind of is at the yeah. same time. Oh, so, for sure. you know, and the thing is, is that here we are at a Panamanian inspired restaurant. Right. And oh, it, it, it was very much yeah. oriented. It was. It, it really was. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, okay, this place has to be diverse if they have a restaurant like this that in the cooking. and it was like very popular by the way oh. there's no parking mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um yeah oh for sure it has to be diverse so and i and i think i think it is um i think that right now is like the off season so it's pretty quiet yeah no but we were told that when we first yeah. got here yeah like you guys came at a perfect time i was like <laughs> did we okay cool yeah. No, but I thought, I mean, this is a good conversation because we always say this and we put it in our TikToks. We say it all the time. We hashtag it. But because this was one of those things, even for us, was a reset. Like, it's really nice to like, oh, we get to go here. But then being here, yeah. we were it, we we are always able, as much as Leslie and I have traveled together, we always may be busy or may not be, but we always find time to really like be in the moment because we can't do this back home we if we don't want one thing it's another but being in the moment hearing the waves literally just yes. i mean we're not even kidding you like we're gonna see if we can show you before we like end but it's like you all you see is ocean in front of us that's true and then you can hear the waves crashing and you just cut because we sat outside for a while we were talking and you could just you can't see shit. it was dark but and dark very early oh god too. it was oh so it, it just looked scary you you knew that something was out there you just didn't know what it was <laughs> it was so dark but like we, we could hear the waves crashing and it's just beautiful. kind of having those conversations about like oh we need to do this and do that it's fun and dandy until we really do have to kind of take a step back and just enjoy the moment um and i figured again we didn't we didn't pre-plan this at all but i think it was one of those things where we just had to come back to basics as to why we're doing this and always a culture always a culture because it's it was very interesting to see people here people are up super early yes. or running biking like leslie said it's literally yeah. everywhere um it's almost like weird for you to be in a car driving anywhere here yeah. like where we yeah. are exactly and we're at the end of the street like we're i mean the beach you can't go past us if you kind of get out of the hotel make a right you're in the ocean like you can't leave <laughs> you, you can only live in one direction so it's just really nice to be able to do that and show you guys like bringing you guys with us on these trips and we really enjoy it we're doing better we're doing better with posting we're doing better of like sharing Especially everything on TikTok. so go view yeah. our TikTok at mindscape 717 mm -hmm. and um, yeah there's so many our things. insta as well oh yeah leslie's better at the insta than i am but yes do <laughs> do the mindscape 717 and obviously we are leslie always asks for like suggestions and recommendations and stuff and we the little bit that we were able to enjoy we loved every second of it um and again we have the cruise and that's going to be something that we're going to share as well Absolutely. on the boats we're going to just do all of the recording but these are things that i i thought it was just important to kind of bring back to why we're doing the podcast and what we're sharing and it's fun and dandy again until we need that reset and we need to travel because we talk about wanderlust between us we're like 
when are we going? Where are we going? When, you know, like really looking towards that next place, but being in the place, it's really nice to just enjoy the crashing of the waves and be like, all right, now I'm ready to go back home. Like it's fun and it's great, even though we don't, we literally don't want to. We're just sitting here. We woke up early. We just been sitting here looking through things. I know we did not. We, we, we're like, mm, do we want to? I know, and it's a beautiful <laughs> day. It's oh god, it's so it's like amazing. Seriously nice. It's like so summer sunny. nice. It's it's so... hot. Like we're sweating. Yeah, it's hot. The sun is it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Is blazing. Summer. No, it is, and you can see it like reflect off the ocean. It's wonderful. I'm wondering if I can. You probably like... can turn it around. No, I can't. Oh wow. Well. I'll try in a little bit. Well, it doesn't matter. Let me you see. Can't Sorry, it. guys. I'm like bringing you closer to me. Um, but here, maybe I can do it this way. Now you can see what we see when we're talking to you. So there. Yeah. Well, not you on the podcast. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you go to YouTube, you'll find the video. Yeah, so go to YouTube. We'll yeah. put the video up so that you can see it as well. Yeah, and, and we'll put more videos. We have been throughout the weekend taking pictures and video of the water, and it's just, it's really nice. It's literally an amazing view here, and it's been really nice to kind of just use this time to do a little shopping, a little bit. I mean, we did a lot of shopping. It was a problem. We, yeah. we did a little shopping. We did. <laughs> It's almost like we ain't got shit to pay when we get home, and then we got a cruise. It's terrible. It's like uh, we're spending money without even thinking about anything else. But that's okay. That's okay. Because, it, yeah. it, you know, no, it's not okay. just for us. So. Yeah. No, for sure. We like to bring things yeah. back for people. and But, you know, I this is just something that we will make sure on our end that we do bring these things up and kind of just share it with you guys and the culture of it. There is culture within mental health. And I think just being very mindful of taking care of ourselves and not only self care, but self love and safe spaces and all of the things, cause it's super important and it doesn't need to be so expensive. Right, if it doesn't exactly. need to be, cause girl, uh, credit cards be um, yeah. saving me on these trips. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's just so important for you to take care of yourself with whatever that looks like. Cause I know Leslie's been reading her books. Yep. When we have downtime, we don't need to entertain each other. No. So I'm on TikTok or looking, doing our research that I need to do on TikTok because she's reading and then she's doing the same on Insta. Like we yeah. really just, you know, want to make sure that you guys understand kind of what we're doing and why we're here. And um, as a therapist, I think it's super important for me to always bring it back to basics and just to be like, this is self-care. Like this is fun. Yeah. This is something that this is why we do it. I think the culture when we're home is very different when we're on vacation mm -hmm. and being able to have a vacation culture is super important of just like you know what fuck it let's just buy it like yeah exactly i mean are we gonna be paying on this credit card sure yeah. but <laughs> yeah but but you do need that time away i think from your life your everyday life yeah. just stepping back from it and yeah it is privilege it is mm -hmm. you know it might it be is. hard but as she said i mean you know you can go to a lake for a day mm -hmm. or a you know or a right something else that or the you mountains, feel comfortable like the, the mountains. mountains right you know whatever whatever it is mm -hmm. that speaks to your soul or speaks to part of you you know if you mm -hmm. can even do it for a couple hours stepping away from your life is like oh absolutely a big part of self-care it is and um can you can start reflecting too i mean self-awareness is mm -hmm. not easy it's not hard it's it's hard work it, um, it is. It's not hard. It is hard um, uh, because mm -hmm. it because you have to start thinking about um, all sorts of things. And so, yeah, Tanya mm -hmm. was lecturing me last night hard, and she was right to do so. And uh, you know, you, you start thinking about things mm -hmm. and start putting things together, and yeah, you grow, yeah, and learn um, from mm -hmm. from some of the things. So. Um, just a nice way to step back, but also mm -hmm. gain perspective. Oh, absolutely. I think stepping back definitely does that for yeah. us. And I always tell my clients, I'm like, we walk around like this all day. We have blinders yeah. and we don't want to look anywhere. And I'm like, you know what? Take a really deep breath and literally walk away. If you got to do it symbolically in your brain or whatever, but like literally get up and like step back and look at the big picture. Because it's really easy to get caught up in the 
in the in the small tedious mm -hmm. things and not really look at the big picture and taking care of ourselves is so important right like it's so important it, and and it just starts with you taking a step back and really looking deep into like what is it that i really need from this moment do you need to walk away then you walk away or if you need to stay and figure things out then you stay and figure things out but you have to do it for yourself and i think this is just kind of leaving from last week into this week and self-care became a thing that I start, I started talking with my clients a lot about last week and into the weekend I'm like but this is this is it right you do the thing that you do you love the most and you just do it the best way you can and the more feasibly smart way like you just have to figure out what it is for yourself because it's very important I just we can't sit on this high horse of no. ours and say that and not no. do it so this is us self-caring. Okay, what what was this um what was the best part for you this weekend? I honestly just being here. Yeah. As much as I'm scared of the water cuz I I don't swim, I don't girl, we just don't do that stuff. But being <laughs> able to like wake up and like hear the waves crashing and just look out the window and just kind of being very mindful because mindfulness we talk about it but it's not easy to do especially if you have anxiety like I do there's a million and one things we're thinking about at all times and like literally just sitting here and your brain kind of goes numb and you're like oh I'm your actually shoulders go down yeah that's what she said that she was know. like oh, I, feel, I feel loose yeah. and I'm like yeah girl yeah it's the ocean it's the Relaxation waves is yeah strong it here, is so. and it's just really nice to be able to take that deep breath and and I think for me that's what it is it's just being able to you know how I feel about road trips mm -hmm. I'm oh where are we going when what's going on let's do road trips I just yeah. think it's the the physically getting away and just enjoying the moment because here we yesterday we literally had no plan yeah we were just kind of roaming around wilmington and like wherever we ended up is where we ended up and like, then we would take people's suggestions so we would take people's suge suggestions mm -hmm. and we just go we but just, everybody like, was so happy to yeah, share with us they really were. We're like go here go here we're like girl yes and then we ran out of time we like, ran out how of time. that happened the day got really? ahead of us. We got up so early, dude. We did. We were we were pretty much up and out by seven thirty. Not mm -hmm. eight. Seven thirty in the morning. Oh, right. I think it was. Yeah. It was but, early, and, was, yeah. and then nothing was open, and we're like, <laughs> yeah. okay, we're just we gonna to, walk around. We had to just literally sit and enjoy but, our coffee. But boom. we did. We yeah. enjoyed the coffee, or she did. I, I'm a tea person. Mm -hmm. But um, then we went down to the riverfront, and that was really really nice. And when we learned that. Pirates are a huge thing here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they, from what we heard, we don't know if this is everybody, but from what we heard, the pirates are, like, really in here. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I might have to look deal. at... We got a little book, a little, yeah. like, travel guide book or whatever, because it is Cape Fear. Yes. Port City, Cape Fear. Yeah, I mean, these are kind of the nicknames of this yeah. area. Yeah, because there's a and Cape Fear Highway, yeah. historical highway. So I guess all of it that kind of surrounds that, and there's like a little yeah. tour guide book, and it's she said pirates. pirates. Yeah, yeah, and there's something in there about pirates. So we might have to do a little digging in that book again. I left it in the car. I don't have it with me, but this it seems so, yeah no. I mean, you hear about pirates and it's never in a good way. You always think pirates is not the, <laughs> right? Like they have all these weird connotation around being a pirate. But here, yeah, it's like a big deal. I think one of the islands here was very like pirate friendly and like they embraced the culture and everything. So I do remember reading about pirates a lot in that book. Which is really interesting. <laughs> um, and then somebody said something to us about it. So. Yeah. No, I was like, okay, there must be a thing. And we saw it on the riverfront. So yeah. there's a whole bunch of different things about pirates on yeah. the riverfront. But it was super nice. It's, it was yeah. a gorgeous day yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today it's even warmer. It's really nice. It's, it's hot. A girl is it's sweating. Hot. It's hot. The sun is beaming into this room. I know. We were just saying, oh, my God. I can't imagine when it's like... Oh, in the middle of yeah, summer no. we are in november i know and it is hot people are literally in the water surfing and swimming yeah mm -mm. yeah it's hot mm -hmm. yeah they really are they're right out there right now 
Yeah, I saw people come out with their little boards. I'm like, that's insane. I love it. Yeah. That's great. So just, we just wanted to share with you guys, this is something that we want to continue doing. Yes. And we want to be very intentional about how we, you know, present these things for everyone. Because I know, again, speaking out of privilege, it's really nice to be able to do this. And I know it's hard for a lot of people to be able to, but with responsibilities, you, you can still take care of yourself, even right. if it is a day trip. I know we live in an area in Northern Virginia where if you drive an hour, hour and a half, you're in the mountains. You are by some kind of lake. You are same. We have such different things that we can kind of go to and literally make it an afternoon for yourself. That's right. Take some food with you. You don't got to buy shit. You really don't. Just take me. Take a like a, a bag lunch and you take it with you and you go enjoy yourself even for a few hours. That's right. Um, and Stepping all it's going to cost you is gas. Perspective. Yeah. yeah. Like I just, you know, and I think these are things too that we love to do. So I just thought it was a really good way to kind of wrap up this trip and just be very kind of basic and elementary about like going back to self-care. Because um, we've talked about that a lot this weekend. Because we are like, every time we went somewhere new, we we're like, this is amazing. And we have joked that maybe we need to move here. It's yes. one of those things where Wilmington does not want to let us go. I know. It just gets better and better with the it next does. thing that we do. And Yeah, we, we're actually really loving it here. It's absolutely really, loving it. It's such so. a small little town, but it's like it's a town chock feel. Full. They call yes. it a city, but it's a town feel. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. it's really nice. No, it is. I like in love. Like we yeah. talk, we're all right talking about when we're coming back next. Yeah. Like. This is very much worth the five hour and, and maybe some change. Maybe you should join trip. us. Yep, I know Leslie's wanting to meet people because people post about Wilmington all the time. That keeps coming up on our yes. um, on our TikTok, and I think it's really nice to be able to share those things with people because I know we've reposted stuff yes. that we actually went to, like Cargo District. We went there, yep. um, kind of rode, rode around it, but like people were posting it's these closed. things. <laughs> Yeah, this is how early you can't have two people that are time anxious we were like we're gonna run out of time and we had all you know, of the fucking you know time you're from northern virginia when, when. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time i know and we're just like super and we're just rolling we just we're like oh we have like two hours we had to sit around oh, yeah. and we just took our time eating and then we relaxed because then we're like yeah. oh yeah we're on vacation why are we just <laughs> We just be crazy. Um, that's the funny. level of. It was funny. You're right. It is in Northern Virginia. Here, everybody's yeah. just chilling. Yeah. And we ripping and running to the next thing. Yeah. And then like, we were able to kind of. We were like, all right, girl, like sit the fuck down. Yeah, like, exactly. You're fine. We got two hours to go to the next thing. <laughs> it's it was ridiculous. Um, but again, mental health. Self-care. Please take care of yourself. Yes. This is just something that, I mean, I know it's been sitting on us for many a reasons, but we talk about it all the time. And I tell my clients all the time, it's just so important for you to find the thing that makes you feel even just a little bit better. Just even for like five minutes. It doesn't have to be joy for 24-7 because that doesn't exist. Life still happens and you're tired, you're sleepy, you have this or whatever. But just do something that really calls to you. Yeah. Just for just a little peace and quiet sometimes is nice. Um, but, you know, we had a lot of fun. We're going to keep posting all of the stuff that we bought, the t-shirts and the little Absolutely. knick Absolutely. You'll and see them. It's so much fun. It it literally, I, I'm Again, leaving. Go on TikTok and Instagram. Yes, please go check that out. Yeah, yeah. We loved it here. We posted everything we could and yeah. all of the food and the places yeah. we've been Hold to. Hold the bag for the unicorn. Oh, the unicorn. <laughs> the unicorn madness. The unicorn madness from Black so it, Cat yeah. Shop. So it, it's like, you can't get into it. It's like a surprise. Mm -hmm. So we unveiled that last night. And then it's like it's all the things, things unicorn. Everything unicorn. It was great. So cute. So. We had different bags and stuff, but this one was like really cute. So I thought we would just try it. But I don't know, yeah. just you know, give yourself a little treat or something if you can, and and then you can join us in the next treat. That's right. And then we can kind of have those conversations with we you. We also had chocolate. We had <gasps> chocolate covered marshmallows and chocolate covered rice krispie treats, mm. and that was also what was it? Yes, we posted. Yeah, that. we posted that on. Yeah, we got it from Killwinds. Yeah. Unbelievably like, good. I feel like we have that back home, don't we? Kill I don't know if we do. I have no idea. Okay. But it was good. Yeah. It was very, very, very good. Very delightful. So, mm -hmm. Anyway. 
yeah so i think as far as that is concerned that's really all i really wanted to bring up because we had just been talking about it so much and i thought it would be really nice to just have these conversations this is where we started and i think this midway point that we got going on yeah. um that's more than midway for this season one um series Podcast, that we're trying yes. to do because i know we're trying to start a new one in the new year while that's we're right. gone because um, oh we got new orleans exactly new we got orleans. the cruise girl so we got a lot going on and coming up and yeah um mm -hmm. yeah that will that will happen it's very exciting that will happen yeah, you'll be there with us right along with us until we get there and next you know. weekend i'm actually going to oh, yeah. be in atlanta georgia for a conference mm -hmm. with um apha so anyone out there who is part of apha come seek me out i'd be happy to to talk she to you. literally will be happy to talk to you <laughs> this is not her being extra for podcasts this is legit who leslie is she is the yeah. she is literally the extrovert of us two <laughs> we went to the beach a couple of years ago just me and her and then she brought a casserole yes mm -hmm. and we were eating and she was like we should share with everyone and i'm like i would love nothing less <laughs> nothing less like, than why to would share you do that? she literally <laughs> wanted to go knock on everyone's door on the floor and give everyone a piece of his casserole it's just too much food to go share i no and this is <laughs> literally what this is it's this is the dynamic i'm okay with mm. not doing that i'm okay with this this is as far as i go but she really wants to talk to people so <laughs> if you see her please talk to her because she just wants to be friends with everyone <laughs> And she wants to get to know people. She's not it's joking. True. It is true. So yeah, everywhere we went, she had a conversation me. with someone. So mm -hmm. she she says it. She means it. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so yes, talk to her in Atlanta when she's there next weekend. Yeah. Well, um, we can do a Zoom. We can. Oh, I'm sure we can we, figure out how to do we'll that. And we'll record somehow yeah. on on the Sunday. It'll be later in the evening because I've got the thing to do. It's on Sunday that you the thing that mm -hmm. you're presenting. Yeah. So why are you going to leave Saturday? <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I, I, I knew the answer before I asked the question. Um. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything else unless you do about no. maybe just being here this weekend and anything that you remember hearing from anyone. Because, um, again, everybody super fucking friendly. Yeah. I mean, could they have sat down for a little bit and not be running at 7 o'clock in the fucking morning? Sure. <laughs> Get off the road, please. Get off and go to bed. Try again later. It's so funny. We we get in front of this um, Hidden Grounds coffee and there's like nobody yeah. around. And we're like, what? yeah, what's mm -hmm. going on? Mm -hmm. come on it's everybody's like, running yeah we are getting coffee but then as soon as Everyone we were out walking and yeah. running and you know being and we, yeah. when we say this we really mean it there was so i've never seen anything like this um no. every time we were in the car active. someone yeah. was running somewhere yeah. and in groups too we saw yeah. that the yeah. fucking bikers you know when you, you know you're from i can't i just it scares me i'm like y'all can slip and then i'm gonna hit you and then i'll stand i can't i will never survive that i couldn't do it that's scary to me as a driver i can't do it but yeah they were i mean riding bikes was a big thing yeah. here um yeah. we're not joking when we say people were active like yeah. everybody was fucking walking or running somewhere or biking it's great it's nice to see no it's, really it's nice to see it's one of those things that you see in a movie and you're like, yeah. that's like a beach town or whatever. That's what it is here. This is literally what this is. Yeah. But it was really nice and we wanted to share and just make sure you guys, you know, came along for the ride. And we do appreciate the likes and the follows. And yes. we're getting a lot of views and we're boosting things. And I hope you guys are able to follow us and like us and, you know, love our stuff and talk to us about it. If you guys yeah. want to share... I know Leslie is great at asking. I don't be asking, but Leslie does. I, go ahead and let us know. <laughs> Where are we going? If you have a suggestion, right. we're in Northern Virginia. If there is anything in Northern Virginia, if there's anything even anywhere else, we would be totally right. down to do that. And Give us suggestions. Come along yeah. for the ride. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think about mm -hmm. uh, mental health or actually culture yep. um, where wherever you're from. Like, come visit me. This is the culture mm -hmm. here. We want to know. We want to hear about it. And 
We yeah. want to spread the word. We you love know? it. We genuinely love yeah. doing this and we'll go anywhere. Yeah. We'll go anywhere just to go try it out at least once. Um, but really exploring those conversations with people are really nice. I know Leslie loves to, she was talking about meeting up with people on through TikTok in person. Yeah. Why not? No. Yeah. You know, you're right. Why not? Come to Leslie. Come to <laughs> Leslie. Have a conversation. I would love to hear it. I'm just going to be like this and I'll be listening. We can talk to Leslie. <laughs> Leslie's wonderful at conversation. I just sometimes don't want to. Even though, to be fair, yesterday, the nail tech was amazing. Yeah, she was. She was great. We, we talked the entire time and I never talked to my nail tech. But she kept asking me questions and kept answering. So it was really fun. And she was amused with us being from so far away. Yeah. She was like, what brought you here? She was like, for the weekend. She was like, oh my God, that's so cool. And she started giving us a whole bunch of yeah. suggestions and stuff. So yeah. um, I'm only halfway joking, but like, talk to Leslie for sure. Like <laughs> we, we would be down for suggestions and like comments, like let us know. Like really, it would be really fun to have you guys kind of give us a little bit of you. If you've been to Wilmington, if you've been to Wrights, uh, Wrightsville Beach, um shell island resort is where we are yes um it was really pretty getting here but like if you guys know of something um let us know please do because it is comments. we love seeing all this stuff on tiktok but like, we went there and we saw that and we've reposted it and commented we were here like yeah. it's really nice to be able to do that with everyone and kind of just share the culture um, because with culture comes mental health, and right. we always want to make sure we are very intentional about those conversations. Um, but I mean, maybe you can share some stuff. Maybe you'll end up not being so stuck in that conference, and you can share some stuff in that <laughs> um, some culture down there that you might be able to share with us. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll have some downtime. So. Yeah, I'll be going to some food halls down there. Yes, and, um, and then figure out what's all going on. on. Yeah, so anyhow, yeah. That, anything I don't think that so. you can think of? I, mean, I think that's about it for today. Okay. Yep. So we will see you guys um, on the next one, and that will be number twenty for us. Yeah. Oh my god. Twentieth. Oh my goodness. But we appreciate everyone yes. liking us, following. Please comment. Please give us some feedback. Remember, be kind, because we ain't the ones be kind but we ain't the ones don't come for us we will come back right that's it just let you know um <laughs> then you know because don't be rude um but yeah so thank you everyone for viewing and liking and stuff we really do appreciate it mindscape 717 and let us know what you think yes it's exactly. good talking to you guys see ya bye